This is from David in Aldershaw. It's a similar question. Do you think that this uh, boxing is heading in a different direction at the moment? Same question. Same question. Yeah. Similar question. Yeah. In what respect? Do you think, well, he's going on to say, you, do you think that fighters are getting a license and creating a bit of PR for themselves on social media, trying to get a following? I think so. And uh, you know, I mean, do you think it's detrimental? No, I don't. I think to uh, hard-working boxers like Tommy Frank. Yeah, it can be. But, but then, if, if you just educate, see, if we've got a bit more publicity in boxing and we got a bit more on terrestrial, people would see who the, who the real fighters were and who the popular uh, celebrity type fighters are. So I don't think it does any harm because like it's all boxing but one's real and one's one's professional, one's like barely it's like amateur stroke, semi-professional. Do you think that Johnny Nelson and Shannon Briggs have lowered the tone trying to get themselves involved with training these YouTubers? Or are they just after the 10%? They're just after the 10% and it's just... Uh, Why don't they say that then? Well, they don't too. They're after 10%. I want to paint Buddy McGurk's been in every corner in, under the sun. Uh, he doesn't do it for nothing, he doesn't do it for love, but he's a name and he's, and he's capitalising on his name, so why not? Woody McGurk, why is he involved with it? Uh, no, I'm saying he has been oh, in the past. Yeah. You know, we're in contender, yeah. been in the few corners, haven't it? We will champion as well, what's the name? Yeah, so... Do you know Buddy McGurk? No, I've met him, but I don't really know him personally. Do you get on with Gary Shaw, Dennis? No. <laughs> Did you have a lot of first bit? No, it's just, uh, I thought it was disrespectful to Clinton. I've had a couple of spats with him, I've done a first bit with him. I've done business with him, I'm sure what, I don't hate him, but I'm, he's not my favourite person, I don't hate him. I'm sure he doesn't hate me, but uh, we didn't, he weren't a person I hated off with, you know, like Lou Bella every time I've seen Lou. I just like his character, whether, I just got a good, feeling about him. I think he's a character, he's good for the sport. Who wears his hat on his sleeve, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like that. And he's, and he's, and he'll talk, you don't think he's, he's not up his own backside, he's a, he's a character, like I say, a bit eccentric. But he's, I think he's good for boxing and uh, at, at the drop of an hour, I'd do business with him tomorrow. Yeah. What do you think to uh, Frankie Gavin's not fighting again? I mean, Frankie's missed the ball. Fun time Frankie's had too much fun time in the past <laughs> and he didn't develop like he should have done and uh, he's paid the price. He only reached probably European level um, when he should have been world, world level, world championship level and he missed the ball and uh, I tried to sign him when he came out at Olympics um, but he went with Frank for good money. And, uh, and I think that was the beginning of the end for him. Just uh, got good signing on fee, thought he'd made it, and uh, that's where the hard work what begins. What signing on fee did you offer him, Dan? I think we offered him 50 or something like that. And uh, 20 grand a fight, something like that. But I think it's good money, isn't it? But not for that now. She weren't there, but I got a bit of television uh, behind us, so we, we, could, we could make it work and that. Enjoy it? Yeah. I'll give it a shout. But it went for a lot. I think it went for a lot more money than that. Yeah. Do you think that uh, Billy Joe Saunders will ever fight Canelo again? I hope so, but if you think about it, Canelo is the, is the golden goose in Vegas now. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got a certain look, he's not, he's not a typical looking, he's not a typical looking Mexican, um, PR with him is, is fantastic, he's got a fantastic style, he's got a great boxing ring, but everything is in his favour in, uh, in Vegas, uh, when he fought, um, Big foot cover left. Uh, the referee were breaking him up so cover left couldn't lose his strength. 
and have a look for having to box at a pace what he weren't comfortable with, even though I thought he was just nicking the fight. But um, the, the advantage would have been if he could have still had to use his physical strength and have a natural, naturally bigger fella. Um, so I think in Vegas, Alvarez would be difficult to beat. Um, but I don't want to see where else they could do the fight unless it's Saudi Arabia. And, and yes, thank you. Uh, so I think that's where he could, where he could go. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, fully brilliant. But I don't think he'd go to Saudi Arabia. No. Do you want to carry on? No, no, yeah, but yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, right, moving on then. Now we've, looked, we've we've spoke about Billy Joe Saunders, haven't we? Where do you think he heads now, then, Dennis? So speaking to Cameron. Uh, I think he's got to be looking at states and he's, uh, he's got to go and make his mark now. He's at an age now where he's going to be involved in big, big fights. And um, Billy's a great talent, but he's defining fights because if he doesn't, he could start to get complacent and make some bad habits. He needs to be in fights, serious fights, which is going to test him. Um, He'll bring the best out of Billy. He's a, he's a real talent. I tried to sign him when when he turned pro. It was between me and Frank who signed him, but Frank had the resource because he had the TV behind him. Uh, We're massive Billy Joe fans, aren't we? As regards the style, aren't yeah. we? He's a talent, and I think he could. He is the one kid in this world who could possibly be. You know. He's, a, he's the man now, Canelo, isn't he? Yeah, but had anybody in this world, Billy Joe, tends to got the style and the, and the will to beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the front, isn't it? It's fun to talk to you. I, I, I love his, his, you know, his, his punk about him. He's got... Got it's like he's not even shy when he fights though, though isn't it? Well, he's, he's, he's a naturally gifted fighter. And it's in his blood, but he's naturally gifted anyway. So, so he, he was my favourite fighter when they were coming to our gym. Um, when they went to Olympics. I bought them all a watch. No, you really bought them all a... Uh, Billy's still probably got that watch. <laughs> uh, well, they all have, haven't they? So, um, you bought them all on plane, didn't you? Bought them all a watch. Congratulating him on uh, the achievement by representing the GB in the Olympics. So. David Price was buying one as well. Tony Jeffries, David Price. Yeah, it was just a gesture. Your money. Yeah, we're a gesture for him, yeah. We were all happy with it. We want you if we bought you a, a, a sporty tank yeah. watch. Yeah. So, yeah, they weren't cheap, but I you know, had them engraved at the back, so they'll, they'll keep them for, for the rest of the days because it just relates to what they achieved, and it was just from somebody independent like me who, who respected and uh, applauded what they'd achieved by representing the country. Uh, Very the patriotic, then, aren't they? Yeah. Huh? Have you always been like that? Yeah. I like that country to win at anything. Tiggly wins, rugby, cricket, anything. Yeah. So hopefully we can win something else. But we never do. Boxing, we're the best in the world now. We're the best in the world at boxing, you think, huh? Come on, fire them at me. Looking forward, what do you think about Scott Harrison's comeback? I don't like it. I told you about Nigel Bennett, I didn't like that. Yeah. Uh, He's not fighting now. Scott Harrison, isn't he? Another one. Oh, missed the ball and he's not doing it for the right reasons, probably. Made a mess and it's a shame because he obviously got some issues, but what a good fighter. He was. Right on. What do you think about Ricky Burns? Do you think he should pack in there? I think he's getting close now. I think he should be like, I don't know, one more fight and call it a day, you know, like, um, Crawler, Anthony Crawler. Do you think that would be, you know, the pension pay off for him? Yeah. Do you think it was all a bit out of order? Like a testimony when you've been at a football team for that long. Ten years, at Wednesday. You, you play a friendly match, don't you? And hopefully, uh, no, do, yeah. and well, you to, because a lot of players don't stay for ten years now, do they? But uh, you play a friendly, and hopefully, Emowitz, the testimonial for, will, will scores the winning goal. So get all takings up there. And do you think that that's what that will withdraw? 
Because yeah. it's very rare that a fighter has a has a testimonial like that. It would all be couldn't really set they couldn't write a script for him because they thought they just said it so it's his farewell. I'm glad for him because I like him, I think he's a gentleman. Yeah, what do you think to uh, Ricky Burns? Do you think he'll have a testimony over that show? I hope so. Yeah, because he, so. he lost all that money when he got banked with Frank. Yeah, I hope he does. Cause, uh, he'll put that right then, won't he? He's, yeah, he's been a servant to the sport, so if anybody deserves it, by Anthony Crawler, I think Ricky Burns definitely does. Do you remember when Carl Johansson bashed him up, Dennis? Yeah. What a fighter he was, wasn't it, Carl Johansson? We liked him, didn't we? Yeah, he was coming to my gym. Fought semi, didn't he? For British. Yeah, it's his mate, isn't it? Yeah. His yeah. mate, from there. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, good fighter. He could have been a lot better fighter as well. Yeah. And I just got the impression with him that he were a world level fighter, but he just didn't. He wasn't manoeuvred correctly. What do you think, Dan? Uh, had a look Did to he beat Alex Arthur as well? Uh, I can't remember, but I had a look to have got older Carl. He's just a basic, just decent guy, uh, Carl. And uh, he weren't a businessman and could have done with somebody like me and behind him and look what we did, look what I did for Clinton. Well, I think I could have done the same for Carl. I think he could have been... We, we didn't. He's not as good a talker as Josh Warrington, but I think because of his background, with his uncle or his, or his granddad who played for Leeds United. Leeds United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think um, he could have he could have played on that, and uh, I think Carl would have been a popular kid, and I think he would have been the like first kid. Now. I think he could have been the first world champion rather than Josh. Josh from Leeds, yeah. What do you think to? Uh, I'm not sure if Alex Arthur fought Carl Johansson. I, mean, I think he fought Ricky Burns, and I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so don't quote me on that, Alex Arthur. Don't think he makes. We like Alex, don't we? You like Alex, don't we? Very much. Yeah. You nearly signed him, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I like Alex. A lot. But, uh, Josh Waddington. What do you think to Josh Waddington at the moment? Then? Josh Waddington, he's, he's, he's done it. He's worked really hard. Been around all gym when I had gym, and not only just come and spar, he's come all around all gym spar for nothing, just to get experience. He's done it the proper way, so I hope he gets some big. We fun. like him, don't we? A lot. Yeah. Did he beat Galahad? Um, they were very close. He struggled with Galahad, and I think from the jaws of victory, 